Hello everyone, um, I'm just coming on to um, see how we can survive Valentine's Day. And not only Valentine's Day, but the Valentine's Day season. Because you see a lot of things and a lot of candy and uh, advertisements for flowers way before Valentine's Day arrives. So that's why I call it the Valentine's Day season. And so... <laughs> As I was preparing for this, um, my cats decided to come join me, and um, this one is on on my notebook. So, but anyway, let's talk about uh, how to survive Valentine's Day season. Excuse me. Can you? Number one, we can completely ignore it. Um, we can get off social media. We can uh, not go to the store and see all the candy or um, not see all the advertisements and for flowers and can just, sometimes we just wanna cover our heads and uh, just forget about it because it is painful. And it's, it's a, it is a reminder and a hard reminder that our husbands are gone. So, um, actually Valentine's Day is one of the worst holidays for me. And uh, for some, most people it's Thanksgiving and Christmas, but it's Valentine's for me because um, that was our anniversary as well. So let's try and survive this together. So what, number one, we can completely ignore it. Stay, stay off social media, stay away from the places that is a constant reminder of Valentine's and of our loss. Number two, make it special in a way that you won't cringe when you think of Valentine's Day. So um, think of memories that make you feel good and not feel sad. We, we don't want to feel sad on Valentine's Day. We want to make it through the best way possible. So try and have the good memories and the good feelings and um, send yourself some flowers, buy yourself some special candy and eat it on that day and just make it special for you. Okay. Sorry. My hair's all whacked out. I just came in from feeding outside. Number three, go to lunch with some friends, have some laughter, have some fun, um, have a good time. Make this day special make this day enjoyable number four try not to let your mind go to things that will make you sad focus and have a healthy thought day we are in control of our thoughts and please don't go in the path of feeling sad and um getting depressed because we can easily easily do that it's harder to focus on the things that are make us feel good and enjoy life and it's it's easy to go the negative so so try and stay positive try and do things um that will keep you in a, a positive thought frame of thought and focus Let's see, that was number four. Number five, go visit his grave. And if you need to, have a talk with him. Sometimes that makes me feel better. I don't visit his grave often at all. But sometimes I just need to be near him, his body. And um, that makes me feel better. So if you need to go, go to the graveside, and bring your coffee and have coffee with them if y'all used to enjoy coffee together or just just go have a talk if you need to bring some tissue and cry because sometimes the grave is hard to hard to visit it's hard to visit for me it's hard to visit That was number six. Number seven, embrace it. 
and this is not for everyone and I what I suggest I really wouldn't suggest doing it in the first year after loss I would do it probably second year on everyone is different everyone grieves differently everyone does it at a different pace but embrace it in a way that you can enjoy it and you can even enjoy going on social media comment and have good comments and positive comments on everyone else enjoying valentine's day all the couples doing the couple stuff and going out to nice dinners and look at the flowers my husband sent me type stuff you can have nice comments on those things and you can embrace it that way my cats sorry um or you can do something a little brave. Um, you can go on a date. Please do it with someone that is single. But if you're ready, just if you've had your eye on that special someone, go on a date. And see how it works. See if you're ready. Some people aren't ready yet two, three, five years. He will not keep my door closed. Stop, Joe. So em embrace it. Just have, do this for yourself. If you're ready. I mean, I'm not even ready for that. So, um, and it's been over two years. So I'm just giving you some choices on how to Survive Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day season. It's it's just not an easy season. But go enjoy supper. And uh, even if you ask him out. And he lets you pay for it. I wouldn't go on a second date with him. Because he really. If he is any type of gentleman. He will pay for the date. I'm sorry. That's just... That's just me and my old-fashioned ways. And um, number seven, process the day. Process your emotions throughout the day. Um, take time to work through your emotions. Um, work through your sadness. If you need to, cry. Um, if you need to, laugh. If you need to, have an extra cup of coffee. Whatever brings you that comfort and that good feeling. You know, um try and do so at the end of the day you you are well in body and mind and emotions and you have healed just a little bit throughout the day so wouldn't that be a wonderful day to end valentine's day a little bit more healed so i just wanted to give y'all a few little pointers on how to survive Valentine's Day and I want to thank everyone for commenting on the other videos um, I don't have a chance to comment back reply back but I, I know that there was one com all of y'all's comments are just wonderful and some do make me cry but there was one that really surprised me and she she ended it with from Ethiopia and that one shocked me that uh, my videos have gone all the way to the other side of this world and that uh, my words can can touch someone and help someone through the most difficult times of their life and I really appreciate you commenting and um, I'm you're all in my prayers and I really really hope that y'all are healing and that y'all are doing well and that y'all are just not surviving, but you're learning how to thrive in this life again, and that you're learning how to live again, and you're learning how to find hope again, because that's what this is all about, is finding hope, and it's finding life after loss. And um, I wanted to say something else, but it totally slipped my mind. So... Um, I paused for a moment to think what of what it was, but I just can't think of what it was. Anyway, I just wanted to say hello to everyone again and um, wish y'all the best. 
and comment below if y'all have different ideas on what other widows or even single people and people who have lost loved ones how they can survive and manage and heal through this season with this Valentine's coming up just go ahead and comment below we're here for each other we're helping each other through this and it's a journey that we did not want but it's a journey that's been handed to us and that we need to walk and we must walk but we are not alone and we're here for each other and we can help each other through this even if we never meet uh, even if we're just acquaintances we can still help each other and a good positive word goes a long way so um, I appreciate all of y'all and Valentine's is exactly a month away so we have time to start processing our emotions I will be processing my emotions and um, learning how to, to live we need to learn how to live again and be happy again and even if you're in your first year you're like after your husband died you're like how on earth can I be happy again you believe me you will find some joy in life and you will be happy again this is for a season this is for a season and and you will be able to shine bright once again but it's going to take a little time and it takes just a healing and it takes the journey we're all on this journey together even though we walk in different shoes we're on this journey together and i just wanted to say i appreciate all of y'all and uh, i hope you're having a good year at the beginning of this 2023 year and um, i will see you next time